So, what is this truth? I asked. King of Wands. This per this person that is speaking the truth, okay, to the sun about their happiness, what they consider success and vitality in their life, their truth, their truth is that they have come to an understanding of what is important to them in life. The Hierophant, and they want commitment. They want commitment. Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. How are ya? How are ya? It's been a good long minute, has it not? It has. Y'all have to just forgive me though. I'll be back for like regular from now on at least once a month for Pisces, at least once a month. It's just been summertime and I have been so busy. I have just been so busy. I moved. I had the coronavirus for two weeks. Um, I have work just off the hook, crazy busy, family things, life things, right? And I'm an outdoorsy person. I got the horse. So I've just kind of taken an easy summer just to uh, enjoy life a little bit. So I do hope that um, you can understand and forgive me for not being here for um, YouTube, okay? But back on track, ready to go now, okay? We are going to do a general reading for the sign of Pisces. I am a Taurus sun, but I have Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, okay? So I feel the Pisces vibe, I do. I feel the Pisces vibe trying to come out right there, King of Pentacles. All right. So we're going to do a general reading for the sign of Pisces, okay? If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. Of course, the logical thought pattern is that you can binge watch general tarot card readings till the cows come home, but you're never going to know your own true real story unless you have your real cards read. The tarot is a divination tool, very personal divination tool meant to be used between the higher power, the recipient, and the medium, right? I am a vessel, just a clean vessel to transfer messages from that which you are maybe not hearing properly into your reality. It's all I do. You need to have your cards read to find your own true story, whether it's me or anybody else, right? Just get your cards read and stop binge watching tarot card readings. It will fuck up your mind. All right. Let's jump into it. It's going to work the way that it always works, Pisces. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it, confusing the heck out of you, and I'm going to sew together a story. If the clarification process gets too in-depth or lengthy, I will fast forward that section of the video and we'll pick up right where we leave off, okay? All right. So everybody hunker down, okay? Hunker down. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Get your blanket, put your feet up, put your earbuds in. If you're at work on your lunch break, go outside, have a smoke, enjoy the outside for a second, put your earbuds in, get comfy, come on up to my table, and let's, earthquake, let's throw down some cards for Pisces. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> All right, give me a minute, give me a minute. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit in Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does Pisces need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? <laughs> okay, Spirit tell me exactly where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Tell me exactly where to stop. Right there. All right. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say to Pisces. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three three. 
bottom of the deck, the Hierophant in reverse, okay? This is a reevaluation of a belief system or the cutting loose of some kind of commitment or obligation. All right, first card out, three of wands in reverse, a lack of foresight, king of cups in reverse, maybe emotional manipulation, emotional volatility, hurt feelings, the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, the eight of wands in reverse, no action, no movement, the king of pentacles. Eight of pentacles in reverse, perfectionism sometimes, sometimes it's about a lack of ambition, a lack of focus, an inability to fix something, build something, the five of wands in reverse, uh, avoidance of responsibility or an increased focus on goals of some sort. The Nine of Swords in the center of the reading, anxiety, despair. The Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate, new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles, prosperity begins. The Knight of Swords in reverse, sometimes it's a disregard for consequences, sometimes it's illogical thoughts. The Moon, struggling with the emotion, struggling with the intuition, repressing emotions, strength, overcoming old fears and conditionings, courage, the six of cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories, children, um, reuniting or reconciling differences with the past, the lovers. We'll see. <clears throat> the two of cups. Wow. Can you all see that? Yeah. Two of cups to the hermit, soul searching, introspection, the four of cups, We'll see what that's about. The Four of Cups, for me, is always really critical, okay? So we'll see what that's about. The King of Wands, that guy, to the star, renewal. Renewal, purpose, hope, faith, divine orchestration. The Three of Swords, sorrow, grief, pain. The Four of Swords, do I want to do it again? Ace of Swords, confused. Page of Pentacles, manifestation. The Four of Swords, to the king of swords in reverse wow to the five of pentacles in reverse the eight of swords the two of wands in reverse the ten of cups the queen of pentacles in reverse the knight of wands the page of wands the magician wow the eight of cups the ten of pentacles and judgment Okay, we're going to stop with judgment. we got to stop somewhere, right? We, ju we just have to. We have to stop somewhere. <clears throat> Oftentimes, I can read the whole deck of cards um, for a person, but it, it there's a point when the story starts repeating, and that's how I know where to end, okay? All right, let's get into this and clarify all of this. Told you I was going to confuse the heck out of you, right? I was going to confuse you. I'm going to sew together a story. I'm still going to confuse you, and um, I will read it to you from the top, okay? All right, let's jump into this. So, Spirit, the lack of foresight, the Three of Wands in reverse to the King of Cups in reverse to the Five of Cups. Tell me about this. Tell me about these three cards, please. The Fool in reverse. Foolish, naive, reckless. That was possibly the lesson of this for you. Princess of Cups in reverse emotional immaturity, creative block, death in reverse, a personal transformation. Absolutely. Okay. Understood. From my perspective, understood. So personal transformation. Um, okay. The eight of wands in reverse to the seven of wands. Stalling delays, frustrations, no communication, no movement forward. The seven of wands challenge. I don't see it as a challenge, though. The King of Cups in reverse. Again, emotional volatility guarded. Okay. So the Seven of Wands is going to be about being guarded. And the Eight of Wands in reverse is about um, holding off, no communication, guarding yourself because you are emotionally depleted in this situation. I understand. I understand. So the King of Pentacles, what is this about? What is the King of Pentacles about? What is the King of Pentacles about? The High Priestess. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, some things that y'all should know about me. Um, I will occasionally smoke my vape on camera. I swear and um, I can be inappropriate at times. Okay. All right. Carry on. The High Priestess. Woo, look at that. To the star, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the star. All right, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. So, Three of Wands in reverse, right? This is a lack of foresight. You don't see something coming. You just don't see it coming. You're just going right along in your little Pisces life, right? Just swimming, swimming, keep on swimming, right? Right? And then boom, somebody comes in with some kind of truth that they're going to speak to you. To the hermit in reverse. This card is about withdraw, okay? This person and you have been withdrawn from each other for God knows how long. Okay, just withdrawn from each other. There is no communication. This card is about isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal. There has been nothing between you. You've moved on. You have moved on from this. And this person reaches out to you and they tell you some pointed truth. I don't know what that is. That might be an extended reading. I don't know. But they tell you some pointed truth. To the hermit in reverse, right? There has been nothing happening between you at all. This person just shows up and blurts out this big, serious truth. Spirit, what is the, what is the truth? Holy shit. What is the truth? Huh? The King of Wands. If you have been on this channel for a minute, you know that the King of Wands has been haunting Pisces and Taurus because I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun, right? This King of Wands has been haunting our readings for a long time. I think since like January of 2019, haunting our readings, okay? So what is this truth, I asked? King of Wands, this, per this person that is speaking the truth, okay? To the sun about their happiness, what they consider success and vitality in their life, their truth, their truth is that they have come to an understanding of what is important to them in life. The Hierophant, and they want commitment. They want commitment. Now, let me back up just a little bit. This does not have to be romantic, okay? There was nothing in here at all that was romantic except for my um, notation about the King of Wands from the past, okay? From scratch, though, there is nothing that has to be romantic here. You just don't see someone coming, and they are telling their truth to you. The King of Wands could be could have something to do with career or achieving or succeeding somehow, some way. But it's, it's definitely the person that's coming to you. And the sun comes in and talks about happiness. This person has found th their Zen in life and they are going towards what makes them happy. And the Hierophant comes on top of it and talks about some kind of contract, obligation, or commitment to you. The Hierophant is also about a belief system, right? Which, which made me first say that this person has come to terms with their belief system. What it is that they consider to be happiness and success in their life. There whatever they consider to be happiness, success in their life, okay? And this is what you don't see coming. It comes out of nowhere, okay? The King of Cups in reverse, right? This is emotional volatility to the Five of Cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The Fool in reverse is foolish. The Princess of Cups in reverse is emotionally immature. When you had the last interaction with this person, Okay. They were 
manipulative. They were emotionally out of control of themselves. And they caused a lot of grief, sorrow, pain, and regret. Fool in reverse. They were foolish. This is what they're going to tell you in their truth with the Queen of Swords. They were foolish. They were emotionally immature. Death in reverse. But they have had a personal transformation. And they are determined to at least attempt to live their happiness. And their happiness has something to do with you. Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, holding off, delays, no communication between the two of you. To the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is you, okay? You, holding off, right? Not taking any action on any of this communication that comes through, right? Pisces is just like, whoa, I'm just going to float back over here and just chill on all of this for just a second, okay? I'm, I'm not reacting. I'm not acting. Um, but you are floored, okay? The Seven of Wands comes on top of this and says this is a challenge for you to the King of Cups in reverse because you are emotionally volatile towards this person. This person created emotional volatility for you. And you're like, ah. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This person has morphed from the King of Wands into the King of Pentacles. That's what this personal transformation that they're having is. They have morphed from the King of Wands, who is a fire element, okay? Fire does what? It, it sparks, right? And it gets all smoldery and hot and then poof, goes into a flame and it consumes everything and it's all hot and passionate and wonderful. And then it fizzles down and it waits for the next breeze to take it to its next pile that it's going to conquer right? That's the fire energy. That's who this person was. They've had a revelation, an awakening, an understanding, a personal transformation, and now they're coming to you as the king of pentacles. I was emotionally immature. I was foolish. I didn't know how to control myself, but now I have grown and I am the king of pentacles. Pisces comes on top of this with the high priestess, right? Pisces comes on top of this with the high priestess and, and you're, you're in full glory, Pisces, full glory. All of your little everythings, just a tingling, feeling your way through this situation like only you can, okay? Got your Pisces going on right here and you're feeling this out and you're running it through your intuition and you're asking your higher power, is this right for me. Show me signs. Show me synchronicities. Show me something that tells me that this is where you want me to be to do what I came here to do. Ace of Wands. Inspired, passionate, new beginning, right? Seven of Cups in reverse. Fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, To the star, major arcana, divine orchestration, the understanding that there is a connection to a universal intelligence that we don't always understand. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal. What this is saying in this whole top row right here, there is a soul contract here that is not complete. There is a soul contract that is not complete. The star, death, the hierophant, the sun. There is a soul contract that isn't complete. And you, Pisces, were the catalyst for this person's personal transformation but it wasn't you directly. It was the seeds that you planted 
in this person. It was the sole recognition that this person didn't understand. And now they do. Now they do. And Spirit says, with these major arcana, that this is purposeful for your life. Somehow, some way, it's purposeful for your life. Hmm. Let's see. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, right? Uh, lacking ambition, lacking focus to the Four of Pentacles. Because you're, you got it. You got it nailed down now. You, you do. You got it nailed down. You're, you're comfortable. You're secure. Um, and you're really not willing to share or give up a, a portion of the peace that you have in your life. The Five of Wands in reverse. An increased focus on goals. To the Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. Triumphant success and some kind of understanding is the Ace of Swords. So now you understand what this person is telling you in the Queen of Swords energy. And it's, it's, it's very, very clear. Okay, there's no misunderstanding it. This person is so straightforward that it really blows you back. Remember the Eight of Wands in reverse. You're like, whoa, <laughs> I'll call you back <laughs> to the Ten of Swords, right? Crystal clear understanding of why it could not happen in the past. Why couldn't it happen in the past? This person wasn't ready and you weren't ready, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Future, foundation, foundation to build something with this person, this thing, this entity. The five of cups in reverse. You got to move on though from the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment of the past go round. Eight of swords all tied up in your head. Three of cups about celebrating, reuniting with this person. Um, maybe, maybe going someplace to meet this person. But you're all tied up in your head about it. Nine of swords, right? Anxiety and despair because this was a painful lesson in the past. The ace of wands to the ace of pentacles. Now there's an opportunity for an inspiring new beginning, new prosperity between the two of you. Strength in reverse. This is insecurity, self-doubt. Insecurity, self-doubt, a lack of courage to the Six of Cups, to reunite or reconcile your differences with someone from your past. Knight of Swords in reverse. This is being completely blown away in the mind. It's also contemplating a disregard for consequences as well, right? Pisces is like, well, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Ace of Cups, because there's an offer of new love on the table, a new beginning in love with someone from your past. The moon, Pisces, struggling with the subconscious, struggling with the intuition, struggling with the repressed emotions that are now all splayed out on the table with the sword of the queen of air. <laughs> you know, the truth that was spoken, it just is like a gut cut, right? And it's just like blah all over the place. And Pisces is like, oh, oh, I got to hold on a minute. Struggling with the moon, right? To the devil. Oh, this person. I, I, this person. This person. This person is toxic to me. Was toxic to me in the past. Was toxic to my life. Took me a long time to get over this person. An attachment that is a restriction to your growth is the devil. This person. To Pisces again in the moon. Struggling with the intuition, struggling with the subconscious mind. Seven of Swords about all the fuckery that went on in the past. To judgment. Conscious, cognitive decision. To the Four of Swords in reverse. That there might be a lack of progress. Two of Swords in reverse. Crossroads. Six of Pentacles in reverse. One-sided. Five of Swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge, to the Nine of Pentacles. Standing in your power, right? Standing in your power 
is what the Nine of Pentacles is about. And that's what judgment is about. Do you forgive and forget and give this person the benefit of the doubt and re-engage? Or do you learn from the painful lessons of the past that you had with this person? Yeah, look, Queen of Cups, but you love this person. You love them. You do. You love them. You love them. It's what it boils down to. The Queen of Cups. This is ancient agape love. This isn't romantic love. It's a soul love. That's why the King of Cups in reverse is up here twice, right? Twice. Because um, it's soul love. And they didn't recognize the soul connection. But you do. You did. You love this person. Strength. Overcoming old fears and conditionings. Overcoming old fears and conditionings. I'm going to use this. What's strength about? Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, please. Three of Cups in reverse. Third party situations. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Three of Pentacles. Third party situations. Tell me more. Tell me more. How has this changed? Why is this changed? Why has this changed? What's different now than it was last time? Queen of Wands, other women, other other people, other other passions. How about that? Other passions. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh. Huh. I just got a thing in my head, okay? What it said was that somebody's getting cheated on. A, a woman is cheating on the man with another woman. And he doesn't know it's another woman. And when he finds out it's another woman, and that's where it stops. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Queen of Wands, the Tower in Reverse, and the high priestess. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Tell me one more. Tell me the bridge between the high priestess and the lovers. Tell me the bridge between this. Tell me the bridge between this, the fool. There you go. All right. So what this says, strength, right? So Pisces, strength is about overcoming old fears and conditionings. Okay, it's how we gain courage. We, we fight our demons, we grab the bull by the horns, and we just handle our business, right? So strength, you have gained strength from this. You are not the same person that this person used to know, okay? You are somebody that this person doesn't even know. And you don't know this person because they've undergone some kind of transformation. So the time that has been spent apart between the two of you... Um, you have changed and they have changed. So when you come together again, it's almost going to be like a new relationship because neither one of you are even remotely close to what you used to be to each other, right? Strength. This is overcoming old fears and conditionings. What are those old fears and conditionings? Um, well, it's what used to go on with this person when he was the king of wands. He, because it's a, a king, right? When they were the king of wands, okay? The stuff that used to go on, okay? What used to go on? Third party situations, right? Other, other people, other men, other women, other whatevers in between. Uh, no, no commitment, right? Uh, open relationship or one-sided, right? To the three of pentacles, not only were there a lot of people um, in and out of this person's life romantically, but there were also a lot of people in their life just peripherally as well. Um, busy person, busy person. Person that likes to surround themselves with people. Interesting. To the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands being, um, again, other people, other romantic passion interests. The Tower in Reverse talks about averting disaster, but it also talks about a personal transformation, right? 
that is what information. And now you are wondering if you're going to have a personal transformation about the situation. Now that things have been explained to you and you are using your intuition like a mofo right here, Pisces, all over the place. Two high priestesses and the queen of cups. Um, and I'm sure some other things that I'm missing. But nevertheless, you are so in your element and you are feeling this intuition and you are really, really sifting through it. And you know what? The fool says you believe it. The fool says, again, disregard for consequences over here, right? The fool is like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Six of Cups. I think I'm going to reconcile my differences with this person to the lovers because there is a soul connection here that needs to be addressed somehow, some way. There is unfinished business between the two of us to the Princess of Wands. Exploration, discovery, excitement, communication. This is you giving back the communication to this person. Two of Cups. Let's do it. Let's have a relationship. The hermit, soul searching and introspection, right? Soul searching and introspection. You've given it a lot of thought. A lot of thought. Deep, soulful thought. The four of cups. What did you talk about here? What did you talk about here in the, in the hermit energy? When you sit with spirit and you really, really, really just lay things on the table, what did you talk about? What did you talk about? Well, spirit, see, you think you got it under control here with the three of cups, right? That that's, that's all of the memories from the past. Your arms are crossed and you're like, oh, no, I don't think so. But the hand of God is offering you a fourth cup that is going to bring stability to your emotional processes. In this fourth cup is the information that the king of wands back there, right? To the star. In this fourth cup that you are exploring while you are soul searching, spirit brings to your attention that this king of wands is purposeful for your life with the star card. Does that mean that this is going to go into a full-blown relationship, free will, different circumstances, get your cards read and maybe you'll know. But this star card says that this reuniting and reconciling of these differences from the past is purposeful to your life and purposeful to the soul contract that you have with one another. Three of Swords, Grief, Sorrow, Pain. Four of Swords, Contemplating, Thinking. Ace of Swords, In Reverse, Confused. Page of Pentacles, Manifestation. Message to Manifest. To the Five of Swords, Defeat, Conflict. The King of Swords, In Reverse, A Manipulator. The Five of Pentacles, In Reverse, Wants to Come Out of the Cold. Eight of Swords, All Tied Up in Your Head. The Two of Wands, In Reverse, Fear of the Unknown. But... Damn, there's something about this person that just fills your chest. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Didn't work in the past. Can't be this to this person. Knight of Wands. They want to take inspired action towards you, though, to the Page of Wands, and you want to take inspired action towards them. The Magician. Manifestation. Manifestation of what? manifestation of eight of cups walking away from the past pushing towards the future with the ten of pentacles and making the ultimate decision with the judgment card judgment rebirth Archangel Gabriel, I think it is, blowing the horn on Judgment Day, resurrecting the dead from the grave. Personal transformation, personal transformation, new beginning, new journey, new direction. I think this person has changed. But free will, free will, Pisces, free will. 
Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Let's get a, um, let's get a numerology guidance card here. Which one are they? They're these. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to take away? Oh my goodness, look. Domestic harmony. Wow. What do we got here? Wow. Domestic harmony. That was an obvious fall. All right, let's read it. 46, domestic harmony. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This king of wands, huh? All right. Domestic harmony. This card indicates a time of healing your relationships in your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, family member, ex, or current partner, house guest, or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. This card can indicate a time to make a happy commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, com compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships in your home, you will improve the quality of your life. Look at that, Pisces. There you go. This was your reading. I do hope it helps somebody. Um, if you want me to read your cards, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. It's the only way. Namaste.